markets. It was a volatile day of trade in the Lower Street as initially when the trading began, the Nifty managed to capture the 8800 mark. However, by the time the markets closed, it ended 31 points in the red, while the Sensex closed about two-fifths of a percent in the red. The bank Nifty dragged today and took a hit of almost 135 points. But uh, mid caps continue to perform well and managed to close three-tenths of a percent in the green. Anu Singhal is here to decode the street action further for us. Anu, it was a volatile day of trade to say the least and bank Nifty clearly being the big dragger. Well, a very volatile day for the markets and again, a bit of a dichotomy playing out. The large caps are circling, but the mid caps are surging. So the mid cap index hit a new lifetime high. The bank nifty is dragging. Uh, and the big question that Beck's asking is that uh, has this become a near term sell on rally market? Is the market tiring out? It's responding uh, uh, to good news uh, with not a big rally. So that remains a bit of a near term uh, worry for the bulls in terms of stocks. Access, ICICI and Kotak, they were the chief drags as far as the bank nifty is concerned. ONGC, IDEA and Adani Ports were the other big losers. In auto space today, uh, a bit of a trade played out, a bit of a pair trade. Mahindra, Bajaj Auto and Hero Motor Corp were on the losing side. But Tata Motors, DVR, Aishar Motors, Maruti were on the upside. Uh, uh, that's interesting. In the FNO space, there was a lot of big gainers. Tata Global, Tata Communications and Kaveri Seeds and a lot of other non-index gainers as well. The stock of the fortnight maybe MRF continues to gain. Adani Transmission was higher and Bombay Dying did well. So as of now, you're still making money trading the mid-caps, but maybe the Sensex and Nifty are just tiring out a bit. Let's see over the next few days what happens. Oh, yes.